In a time of rising anti-Semitism, the Anti-Defamation League, the ADL, hosting here in New York City today its annual Never Is Now Summit against anti-Semitism and hate. Amongst the guest speakers here today, FBI Director Christopher Wray and actor David Swimmer of Friends fame, who's taking part in a roundtable discussion on fighting anti-Semitism and hate. Some seminars going on right now pertaining to fighting Jew hatred on social media, building partnerships and alliances, and also protecting Jewish institutions, especially important in light of that threat earlier this month against synagogues in northern New Jersey. The suspect in that case, coincidentally, was arrested today. We spoke with Evan Bernstein, a Jewish security expert, about that threat earlier this month and the reaction to it. I think it's about constantly being on alert. It's a shame that we're in the position we are. I and mean, I think we saw that last week with New Jersey and then every, what happened even in Birmingham, Alabama, that at any moment, any time, any community can be impacted by uh, anti-Semitism and hate. And we have to be on alert at all moments of time because we don't know when that's going to happen. It's not just going to be the high holidays. It may not even be on a regular Shabbat. So th that alert awareness has to always be there. Now, there's also a discussion right now about quote-unquote new anti-Semitic threats, including the ESG movement, environmental, social, and governance movement, which encourages investment in companies that are doing things on the social justice front, the environmental front. But what many critics say is a backdoor to BDS and anti-Israel activity. Now, earlier today, the ADL announced the acquisition of a Jewish investor network called JLens, which has been at the forefront of exposing anti-Israel and anti-Semitic activity in the ESG movement. We spoke to the head of JLens about that acquisition. We're so excited to be part of ADL. It's a great opportunity for JLens to scale our work and our impact and take it to the next level. We've worked with ADL for many years. We collaborate on a lot of issues around the corporate space, and it'll help both of our efforts in this area. JLens will get the scale, the resources of ADL, the reputation, and ADL will get all the expertise that JLens brings from the investor space, the corporate advocacy arena. Now, later on today, we'll speak with the head of the ADL, Jonathan Greenblatt. That interview will air on I-24 coming up next week. Reporting from the ADL Summit here in New York, Mike Wagenheim, I-24 News.